Google Plus, like any social networking site, has its share of spammers and scammers and people that don't need to be wasting their time on there. But it's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen. But fortunately, they've given us some good ways to uh, report those people, block those people, and otherwise keep things pretty cleaned up. Uh, first thing, of course, is if you see a post that comes through that's not appropriate. Um, these are people, of course, I've chosen to follow. So if they write something inappropriate, I'll typically just, if I don't care for it, I'll just uncircle them rather than report them unless it's blatant spam. But if you decide that something's inappropriate, uh, you can pull the drop down next to the post, report abuse, which goes to Google, lets them know about it, and if enough people report abuse on the same person, they'll take some action. Um, mute this post, of course, just mutes it so I don't get subsequent updates. This is more useful if you leave a comment on like a Robert Scoble post and then you get notifications for every subsequent comment. Um, mutes it to keep it quiet. It's not really, really related to abuse. And then block this person, just blocks them from following and commenting, uh, that kind of stuff on you. Uh, the next way to, to deal with it is you can do it from a user's page. We can click on Alex here, who I'm picking on. Um, choose to block Alex or report him again there. If someone leaves a bad comment on one of your posts, uh, we'll go into me here. Um, I can click out, um, let's see, there's a couple comments here. Um, if it's on one of my posts, I can pull the drop down and say report or remove comments. Pull that down and now next to each comment there's a couple flags. I can report it for abuse or just remove it completely. And I can do this for every comment in here because it's my post. Uh, of course I have full control over that. If it's someone else's post you don't have that kind of control. You can remove your own comment if you want but you can't remove someone else's. What you can do though if you hover over a comment you get the plus one there's also a report abuse for this comment. So if you see bad comments on other people's posts click to report that uh, hopefully the original author will also report and then remove the post, but getting those reports on the user you know, will help help keep Google Plus clean for all of us. Now on the flip side, perhaps I accidentally reported someone as um, for abuse when I shouldn't have. I clicked the wrong button or misinterpreted what they said or for whatever reason want to undo what I did. Um, you can do that inside your circles. We click on circles. Uh, it used to be that it created a red circle in here called like blocked users or something, and that's gone. Instead, when you first come in, you can pull this drop down under more actions and view the people you've blocked and then just choose to unblock them. Uh, as far as I know, all these people were worthy of being blocked at some point, so I'm going to keep it that way. Um, but if I felt I was wrong in one of them, you can just hit unblock and undo it, and that block will be taken away. Uh, the abuse report will still be with Google, but unless they get a bunch of those, I don't believe that will make a big difference, so it's not a big deal. But um, yeah, that's that's how you handle blocking reporting and unblocking users on Google+.